Joining CFWA this morning is the CEO of APTN, Gene LaRose. Uh, Gene, tell us about the decision to bring North of 60 to APTN. Well, it's been years in the making. We, uh, we've we had audience requests since, uh, I'll say since time immemorial. People have wanted us to bring it on, bring it back. They want to see the whole series again every season. And uh, over the years, we've looked at it, but we could never acquire the entire series. Uh, finally, this year, it worked. So we've managed to uh, come to an agreement on the terms to bring it all in. And uh, we're launching it February 25th. You know, we're all fans of North of 60. I mean, what does uh, the show mean to uh, Indigenous Canadians and people around the world? A lot of our community people are saying that that was a show that they really could connect to. It made them feel good, made them feel good about themselves. They saw themselves on TV. They love the, the the characters, whether it's you know Tom, and Tina, and everybody else. They just love the they love the show. They love the feel of the show, and it made them feel sort of very very good. So I, you know, and you probably from your end, I mean, you're as excited as everybody else. You probably have your reasons why <laughs> you're happy to see it back too. And you know, maybe I'd love to hear those too. It, it really gets to your heart. I mean, there's so many great stories within the, what, six, seven years it was on TV? Yep, yep. I think for me, it's like childhood, too, because I know my grandma and my dad always, always watched North of 60. So I think for me, now it'll become something that I can watch and maybe relate to myself as well. And I think you will. I mean, it's, to, you know, to the Jeremy's point, the a lot of the stories in there are stories that we can connect to right away, and that's what made it such a strong show. Uh, people just, and you know, when, when you look at the, Tina, Tina's role and how she over the years evolved that role, uh, you can connect to somebody in the community that you've seen grow. And, I mean, there's so many good stories out of it all. It's amazing. It's, a, it's an incredible show. Gene LaRose, the CEO of APTN, joining CFWA this morning. Gene, let's talk about the format. Of course, the show airs uh, this uh, Monday on APTN. How do you plan to do the uh, episodes after that? The goal is to have it play on every Sunday night, I believe. That's the, uh, that's the launch that we're doing now, and play it over time. Now, um, uh, right now, I'm... I haven't got the schedule in front of me. Are we going to play it straight through the summer and everything else? I'm not sure yet. Uh, the, the team decided that, and I haven't seen their final plan. But the goal certainly is to keep it going at a rhythm that people can connect to it on a regular basis. So don't be surprised if you see the seasons play out over a 52-week uh, period or what have you. It'll be, it'll play out uh, you know continuously, uh, and I'm understanding as of February 25th on a Sunday. With the announcement of the show coming back and on the same day that it was announced that Tina Louise Bomberry had passed away, how has that been uh, with the reaction of the, the fans? Well, certainly, the, you know, the, the, every time one of the, uh, the individuals from the series or what have you passes on, moves on to the spirit world, you know, people feel a, a great sense of loss because they all had such a huge impact on, on us uh, as, you know, the, the community of... Uh, you know the, the north of 60 community so we've seen a lot of people uh, you know online sort of express their sadness at seeing her go when the whole series is being brought back but for some have also said that it's it's in a great way it's almost like a tribute to her now that she's gone we'll get to see her again so she lives on in in the story and she'll live on in our hearts gina thanks for joining us this morning my pleasure